way they had hoped. Some Brooklyn students are about to return home from Florida after hours spent stuck on the bus by the side of the road. CBS 2's Weijia Jang joins us live from Brooklyn's Fort Hamilton. Hi, Weijia. Good morning. We expect to see that bus pull up here in less than an hour, and many parents have already been waiting here inside their cars for a couple hours, anxious to bring their kids home. Bill Riba started panicking when his phone rang at 2 o'clock Monday morning with both of his daughters away on a school trip. I was thinking the worst. God forbid something got into an accident <clears throat> uh, and all kinds of crazy ideas get through your head. Last Wednesday, the girls traveled to Disney World to participate in a music competition with the Fort Hamilton High School Marching Band. 15-year-old Amanda plays the flute, 14-year-old Megan the saxophone. Sunday around 11 p.m., just minutes after hitting the road to come home, one of the three buses in the caravan broke down on Interstate 4 in Florida. The other two buses were required to stop as well, and that's where 130 students and their chaperones spent the next 11 hours. It's frustrating because we're here all night without sleep, wondering when the bus is coming. A spokesperson for the bus company, Suburban Transit, issued a statement saying, in part, we sincerely apologize to all affected for the inconvenience. Safety is our number one priority. We were told that they made efforts to get a bus company within range of where they were stranded. You know, they weren't able to get somebody to come. Parents, including Riba, want a better explanation. I'm very annoyed that it took so long for them to get another bus to the location, especially it was young adults, kids. Well, luckily, all the kids are accounted for and safe, but as you can imagine, exhausted, so everybody on the trip is excused from school today. Live in Fort Hamilton, Weijia Jang, CBS 2 News.